Aaron, checking in with the evening report. You have a date tonight at 11 p.m. Here is your news for the day. Reddit Science. A team at MIT has won the DARPA Network Challenge. In nine hours. At Big Ben Clock. Bon 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 Wired. Apple's rumored Lala talks signal cheaper, streaming iTunes. New York Times. Copenhagen talks tough on climate protest plans. Aaron, enjoy your day. Thanks, Izazu. <laughs> we get an idea of what it is. Okay, those are. <laughs> so, right now we have the, um, the prototype is going to be on the Android app platform, and it will be fully developed by the end of this year. Early next year, we'll have it developed for the iPhone and the Blackberry. Um, yeah, and let's see. I want to, I guess you guys can come up now. So this is Proffel, and this is Puneet. You guys want to introduce yourself? Yeah. So I was the, uh, one of the technical, technical people. I'm putting together the uh, service for the turd phones, as Alex put it. So uh, <laughs> next year, you sh instead of just having a smartphone, it can actually call you and give you the same alerts um, from our service. So I was playing around with the, the Android platform, and this is pretty much my baby. Um, it's actually a lot of fun to play around with, and hopefully we should have it done by Christmas. So, cool. I'm Puneet. I uh, worked on designing and developing the website, making it so it's presentable to you guys and getting you guys involved into it so you can actually see everything that this can do and will do by the time it releases. And also, um, where is Lee? Lee Wright? Right there in the back. Oh, Lee. Um, thank you so much for all your help. You were, Absolutely. You were awesome. You helped us with uh, a lot of the business and marketing aspects and just a general like sense of how to how to take care of things. So we really appreciate all your help. Yep. Um, and um, actually, I just want to say thank you also to Chris, uh, Steve, and then uh, Gerard, Gerard as well in the back. Um, you guys all helped us out you know, in various uh, aspects. We had so much work going on, and it was really hard to keep everything going, but you guys really helped us uh, you know, get everything done by tonight. We also have a video to demonstrate how serious we were this entire thing. Oh, and we'll take comments during this video, so. This was earlier today, we just got, we just got on our website, we're having a good time. So I mean, you guys actually even... heard this going on. Uh, all right, yeah, yeah okay. Cool. All right, so does anyone have questions? Uh, what's your revenue model? Um, so we are going to sell it as an application. So if you are going to get a basic version, which will give you just basic dumbed-down information like weather and uh, maybe just your email and a calendar update, you would pay maybe $2 for the app. Um, if you want a pro version, which tells you, um, you know, which might potentially talk back with you and converse with you, much more in the future, not to get your hopes up just yet, but um, something of that sort with uh, access to more news feeds, things like that, it would be a higher price range. Uh, the third phone that we would not let go of is uh, something that we use Twilio for, actually. And so Twilio would call you every morning if you had a third phone, and you would pay three dollars a month as a service for that, for that, uh, as a fee for that service. And then there's also other types of visualizations you can have. It's just it, so if you don't wake up to voice. Some people hate that. You can have like games and like other kinds of expressions that will really just wake you up. That's going to problem solving. Just a suggestion um, in the future. You could also market as a white label solution that you give to colleges, businesses, and distribute to their employees or the students that would have information detailed for that college or for that company. Thank you. I don't think we thought of that, so that's really good. Thank you.